and you're welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how i make the smoky nigerian party jollof rice so i'll begin by cooking our chicken so here are the seasonings i'll be using some curry powder onion powder some chicken seasoning and this is fennel For the bouillon cube, I didn't crush it. I know how I would do it. So if you are not really sure like of how to do it, it's better you crush it with your hands before adding anything. So here is fresh ginger and garlic. you know you don't have to add water at the beginning just put it on fire allow it to release its own juice so that the taste everything will sink right in to the chicken so i'm adding some sorry i should have added it at the beginning i forgot i just added some fresh pepper to give it a heat you know So I'll go ahead to prep the pepper mix. So now here is the real thing. You know we are trying to achieve that smokiness. You know we want to feel that smoky taste while eating this party jollof. So I'm going to be toasting this pepper. Everything you see I'm going to be toasting them in the grill. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to, you know, grease the surface of this pepper, onion, everything so that they would not burn. I'm using brush to actually rub all this, the oil on the peppers and all that, but you can actually, if you have a spray bottle, you can use a spray bottle to achieve that. It's the same thing. So if you are still watching to this point and you've not yet subscribed please guys click on the subscribe button for me for more and also give this video a thumbs up drop your comment for me I love you all. so after some minutes in the grill about seven minutes or thereabout this is how this is what we have Sorry, I've, <laughs> I'm done with the chicken and I've even fried just to save our time. I didn't show you that part. So you can see our young chicken. Our tasty chicken. So this is still the oil, some of the oil I used in frying our chicken. Guys, like I like using the same oil I used to fry my chicken because the chicken releases this goodness like the unique taste to the oil so i've added my onion i'm also adding some bay leaf rosemary and also little salt to give the onion a base like the, it's a good taste so it's good to do this to wake up the flavors of these ingredients guys you can never go wrong with this method so just uh, fry everything for like three minutes now i went in with my tomato paste Of course, you need to fry it in this oil to remove that you know, sour taste of the canned tomatoes. So 
so i fried for like five minutes and guys it is ready looking at it as in it's just ready so i went in with the blended remember after toasting our tomato our tomato pepper and all that why blend you don't need to add water so just i blended it without water and i'm adding it now and one another advantage or another uh, benefit of toasting this thing makes as in it's it reduces the water content in this whole thing so it makes it easy to fry so i'm um, seasoning the stew now this is just a mixture of any seasoning of your choice but then i used i added more curry smoked paprika white pepper and more chicken seasoning guys it is party rice we are making so it does be spicy so our chicken stock just went in before i even started making this stew i've already washed my rice you don't need to prepare it just wash you can wash up to three times just wash till the water runs clear yeah that's all you need so the rice has been resting in the sieve so that should be the next thing and before now boil water like make sure that is hot water ready because it wouldn't as in you would you don't want to add cold water to you know the hot mixture it will it will actually reduce the temperature of your food so now our rice is going in just have to stir mix everything up with the stew mix it properly sometimes some people will get as in some some people don't stir or they don't mix their jollof rice bro at this point they will be like ah it's going to burn oh it will burn it has to burn of course it's when it's you know it's burnt that the real taste will come out so mix it and don't add much water so i just went in with some hot water i told you i boiled water earlier so this will help the cooking cover with a foil so that this the whole thing or the heat will be trapped Jello fries doesn't really not not all jello party jello fry does not need water to cook it just steam that it needs so at this point look at how what we have at this point it will burn in of course because it's jello fry so what you do to achieve that and to make sure that it cooks evenly you have to as in from the corners of the pot you will kind of create a space like what i'm doing for water and uh, as in for water to flow in to the bottom of the pot and uh, thereby reducing the as in to make sure that the whole thing the whole content is well cooked sometimes you'll be eating some party rice like in that plate you see some grains of rice that are not properly cooked guys <laughs> our rice is done our rice is done so at this point i'm going in with some butter it's not a must like it's not a must if you don't want butter you can just leave but then it's it's what gives it that extra taste and also makes it shine
this is the point to add your veggies sometimes i add veggies to mine like i slice up some carrots some bell peppers or tomatoes i just and or mm, as in fresh onion so this is the point you just do all those things add them and then cover again for steam as in for the steam to work on them so i'm just going to leave this for like i'm going to be leaving it for like two minutes then i'll come back and then okay guys our party rice is ready our party rice is ready of course it's, you know that it's quite easier to make party jollof with as in an aluminium steel pot or a stainless steel pot yeah because the burning is real in that one like when the pot burns it adds extra taste to you know to the rice but using a non-stick using a non-stick pot is not as easy as because yeah it burns but then you know non-stick it doesn't really stick to the pot so you have to be careful when mixing like as i'm mixing if you're not careful the burnt part will just come out and we just mix up with the Every, with the whole meal so you have to be very careful which is not like that why you, why as in, if you use a stainless steel pot so guys <laughs> this is the outcome you can never go wrong with this method so please subscribe like share share this video so at this point i'm just going to pour it in a cooler mm? so i to be chilling to you when it is needed Thank you, thank you for sticking through to the end.